You ever get a feeling that the market just hates you sometimes? I swear, that's what I felt like today. What's up, guys? It's Migs with Market Open. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Market Open recap. Uh, this morning, I basically had all long trades, um, and the only short that I had was Tesla, and I missed the short. Of course. So, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do the first trade. The first trade I had this morning was on Twitter. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Which was crap. Uh, the first trade I had was on Twitter over the 2960 mark here. I got filled right at 2960. Uh, it basically for an ORB pattern. So when I finished, uh, I was looking down at whenever the after, right after this uh, candle finished forming, and I didn't see this wick. This must have just happened as I moved my head to look over at the level two box, and uh, so I didn't really quite see this happen. And I still got in over 260, which is which is fine, but I just Usually the red candle stays under the high, and then next candle just kind of blasts off. So, but either way, it was kind of a, it was kind of annoying because my stop is here, like it usually is, um, and then entry is right here, twenty nine sixty, breaking over the highs, and then, but the thing is though, is that it triggered and then it came down three cents, just enough to kick me out. So it came down slowly. It wasn't like a quick flash. So it came down. And so I went ahead and got out, and right after that, it, it picked back up, and then it just kept going. So uh, look at this. Look how how high up Twitter went. It, it kicked me out because of three cents, and it just blasted off, and it hasn't it hasn't stopped going up. So Twitter's can't stop, won't stop. Uh, but I got kicked out because of three cents. Like that's that's just sucks. That's what I mean by like I feel like the market was against me this morning. Um, let's see here. My next trade was on W uh, GWPH. Only 50 shares. It's gapping up. It was right at uh, 937. So right here. So I was actually supposed to catch it right at uh, 134, but it was it had like a 50 cent spread. I didn't even look at the spread before I got in, so that was kind of my mistake. I wanted my stop to be down here at 132.49. That's why I only took 50 shares. So I was risking less than, uh, was initially supposed to be risking less than $100. Um, so probably about 75 bucks or so. But um, I tried to get filled on the way back down. So I waited for it to hit 134, 134.20 ish. But since the spread is so large, I was not able to get in at, uh, at that price. I actually ended up getting filled at a 134.80. So it's terrible fill. And uh, I got kicked out of that at 9.52. So I held this for a little while. 9.52. So right here. I got kicked at 133.09. Because my stop was actually, after it dipped down and it bounced off the 133, I went ahead and put my stop at 133. So when I got kicked, it flashed 133 and it came back up really fast. So that's how I got filled up at 133.09. But I actually, I believe I got back into uh, GWPH. Yep, right here at the break of 134. So I saw this kind of curling back up. If you see here on the on the five minute, you can see that it pulls back to the nine. The nine's coming up and curling under it, and it's just starting to curl back up. So I went ahead and got in long, right over 134. Got filled right at uh, 9.59. So right here within this candle. As you can see, it flashed up to 134.03. I got filled, and uh, my stop was going to be down here at 133. Kind of held it for a while, watched it go up. Um, I got rid of GWPH at, uh, let's see here, 134.94. Uh, and then the rest, I got rid of 135.54. So I kind of held that last quarter for a bit. And so I ended up uh, erasing the loss on that and then making $23 on it. It's just th this curl up right here on the five minute was just, it was really good. I thought it was really good. The one minute setup was kind of choppy, so kind of regret taking that one, but you know, can't really do anything about it. It's just that going long on a lot of these stocks in, in this very uncertain market 
it's been relatively hard for me because there is there's not a lot of certainty in the market. You don't know where the market's going to go higher or lower or kind of what's going on. And uh, it just you find it hard for a lot of investors to put a lot of money into it and to be sure that the market's going to go higher. If you guys remember back uh, four or five months ago, the market just steadily kept going higher and higher and higher and the uh, investors were just fine putting money in it. But uh, with all the uncertainties with what's going on with Russia, Syria, tariffs of China, Trump tweeting left and right, and the market just plummeting at a moment's notice, um, investors are having a hard time putting a lot of money into it and having a lot of certainty into the market. So going long for me relatively, it's been it's been kind of hard, and a lot of these pullbacks have really not worked. So um, let's see here. GWPH. Uh, next trade I took was on Roku. Roku this morning. Uh, gapped up on positive earnings. Uh, I took one of the pullbacks. This is like one of the only pullbacks that worked this morning. Um, that and uh, that GWPH one. So let's see here. I believe it was this one. So 1022. 1022 I got filled. So it wasn't even really a textbook pullback. So it usually pulls back to the nine. I watched it pull back and either there's two reasons I'll get in. Either the green candle holds and I'll kind of measure where it's at, and then I'll take my share size accordingly. So I went ahead and took 400 shares. My stop was going to be here at uh, 35.85. I got filled at 36.08, and uh, as it filled, it kept actually going higher. So if it would have been a textbook pullback, I would have had to wait for the next candle to make a new high, which was uh, 36.31, so I would have gotten in at 36.32. Although it would have worked, it's just I don't feel comfortable with it having such a large green candle. So uh, Roku is just very, very strong this morning. It was steady on a steady uptrend. So if either next candle make a new high as your entry or you can do a green candle to hold. So during that time, this green candle was sitting somewhere around here and it had already pulled back and broke under the nine and it immediately got bought up telling me that there are buyers sitting underneath that level that will buy it if it comes under. So I went ahead and put my stop there, went ahead and bought it. Um, I sold 300 shares at 36, 36, 33. So somewhere right below, somewhere right below the high here. So somewhere right below the high. Um, and then I rode the other 100 shares till 36.73. So I ended up making... Uh, 140 out of, out of Roku. So it actually still it hit a high of uh, 37.27 on that. So at least that pullback worked. Uh, next trade I took was on Grub. Very short trade. So this pullback on Grub did there's so. There was no entry here at the very beginning. It pulled back. This could have been a good entry, um, but the nine was kind of far away, so I didn't really take it. So I waited for it to come back up and curl back up over, and uh, I got kicked out immediately out of this thing. So I got filled right at 1044. So right here within this candle, I was basically just doing the same thing that I did on Roku, waiting for a green candle to hold, and then set your stop, let it rip. But... For some reason, I got kicked out here in this candle, I believe. Yeah, so right at 1046, I got kicked out of this candle. Um, I put a hard stop because I was looking at another uh, at another trade. So I went ahead and took my eyes off of it, and I actually ended up getting kicked out. My exit was at 103.40, so that was my stop. Let's see here. So yeah, so the low of this candle right here is uh, 103.41, so my stop was 103.40, but if you notice, I got kicked out at 103.39, but this candle never went under, what's the low of this candle? This candle never went under 103.47. So I'm not really quite sure what happened. There was no orders that flashed through at that price. It's just my order got snatched up uh, because of the hard stop. I'm not really quite sure if they can see CFDs. Market makers can, but a mm, little iffy. Um, although I would have gotten kicked out regardless, as you can notice, it didn't cr it didn't end up crawling back up. So like I said, these pullbacks are not really working. Um, so I would have gotten kicked out right here in this candle. Flashed all the way down here. So regardless, um, this does have a catalyst. It did gap up. Um, the pattern was correct. It just ended up not working out. So 
scrub. Uh, that's right, I did end up taking another trade on grub. 250 right here. Got filled at 103.80. So right over this con this consolidation, basically. So right, right over this. So I got filled right at uh, 110.50. So if, if you see here, it's the next candle. I was like, okay, well, maybe... Uh, next can I'll make a new high. Hopefully it won't kick me out again because it was kind of a ghost kick. So I'm not really quite sure what happened on that one. So next can I'll make a new high. Should start crawling back up. So I got back in, put my stop down here again at 103.40. Again, did not work. I did get kicked out at the correct uh, price though with uh, actual price action behind it. So I got kicked at 103.40. So I ended up losing a total of 214 on Grub. Now next trade was on SQ. Now this was a counter trend trade. I was aware of that. I actually ended up taking it on the one minute. And I believe it was right around the 49 mark. So I know SQ was uh, getting very strong here, but it had given up on the highs, made a lower high, lower high, and it was just kind of floating underneath the nine. And I said, okay, well, if it goes under this uh, consolidation here, I expect it to start coming back to VWAP. So it's a normal thing for, uh, especially during this time of the day, so it was around, I got triggered here, what, 11, 11.21. So I got in, I went ahead and got in right here. So it's, it's normal for a stock that's been very strong uh, during the morning for it to go up and then just pull back to VWAP during midday and for it to kind of rest and then just next leg up would be uh, just start coming back up towards high day. But SQ has just been super strong this morning, and it actually never broke down below 49. Now, initially, the trade that I wanted to take was actually a pullback on, uh, on this. So let's see here. This pullback right here. So pullback, pullback, pullback. This candle to hold. Uh, stop was right here at, uh, what's the low of this candle? Low of this candle is 49.03. Uh, stop would have been 49.02, so would have been very close of kicking me out. But since we had these topping tails here, I wasn't really quite sure that it was going to head back towards high of day. Because what the topping tails mean is that there's sellers selling off as soon as it goes high. So it, it buyers come up, and then there's, oh, there's more sellers up top that are just kind of pushing the stock down. So it was topping tail, topping tail, topping tail, topping tail, all the way back down to the nine. So it it was just telling me that there's a lot of sellers, so I wasn't really quite sure that I should end up going long. That's when I end up moving over to the one minute and uh, taking this this little consolidation breakdown. So uh, I got kicked out right at 49.19, and it just kept going higher, kept climbing higher, and it has not pulled back to VWAP. So I, I do expect at some time for this thing to just kind of collapse, come back to VWAP, uh, but I'm not going to try and time it already. Already lost 110 bucks on it. Not gonna do that. Now Netflix. Netflix was a very spare of the moment trade. Really good consolidation, and I had basically given up on the day already. And uh, so NFLX. But I knew that there was a consolidation right over 33. And I wish I would have held this a little longer. It's just I was already frustrated, and I didn't want to turn the green. I didn't want to turn a green trade into a red trade. So. Basically, Netflix was just consolidating right under uh, 333, and I was willing to risk about $100 on it, just like I typically do. And uh, right within this next couple of candles, I was um, I was just making sure that I wasn't missing anything. I was getting ready to do the recap, and I started going through the list, and the first thing I typed in was Netflix. And I saw it just hitting or 332.90.95. I already had an order or uh, filled here for 100 shares type in NFLX, and as soon as it broke over, I just hit buy. In a split second, this thing just rocketed up to 334, 335, 336, and it just hit a high of 336.88. But I ended up selling at uh, 334.21. I ended up making $102 on the trade. Uh, I really should have sold three quarters of it and just kind of let it ride, but it was such a spare of the moment thing. I just wanted to go in for a quick scalp and then at least be able to get the one-to-one. -one. Um, and so I did just that, but if I would have held it just for a little bit longer, probably could have made a lot more out of it. So I could have made $300 out of this here within the next, uh, 
you know, 15, 20 minutes or so of holding it, but you never really know when these things are going to pull back. So unfortunately, oh, actually, let me show you guys um, this, Tesla sh uh, this Tesla short that I should have taken, but I didn't because I was busy with Twitter. So, which is kind of a bummer because I decided to go with the long instead of the short, which I'm uh, a little bit better at, or I have been doing a lot better in. So right here, Tesla kind of sold off really fast. You, there was really no entry on this until it pulled back and it got rejected at VWAP. Now, uh, to me, my entry would have been here at 286.25 uh, with the stop right here at 287.50. So could have done 50, anywhere from 50, 75, or 100 shares, whatever, and a uh, stop would have been up here. Now, if you notice, next candle, sells off, didn't get in. I saw it. And as soon as it did, I saw it like a split second too late and it ended up being all the way down here, 285, 80 or so. And I was just like, okay, I'm not chasing it, but if it does come back here to uh, somewhere around 286, 15, 10, anywhere above 286, I would have shorted it. Um, just a smaller share size, but I just was not willing to chase it. Just had to, you know, kind of sit on my hands and wait for it to come back. But if it didn't, it just wasn't my, uh, I guess I just wasn't going to be in it. But if you notice... Uh, right here, 286, it pulled back a little bit. It just kept selling off. I could have gotten, what, two, maybe even three to one on this. But um, yeah, it completely missed it. it this was right at uh, 933. So if you guys notice, uh, right at 931. So basically right at 932, I was looking at Twitter. So yeah, um, it, it kind of looks like a little bit. Of, I did a little over trading here, so I need to be a little bit more uh, careful on what what I take. Because looking back on it, really, I should not have taken this trade on uh, GW GWPH, the initial trade. Um, Grub was okay, I think. I believe it was on the five minute because it was the yeah. I don't know. It's too many candles. Too many candles. Yeah, I might have. Should maybe I shouldn't have taken that first trade on Grub either. Um, Roku was a little iffy. SQ. Uh, which one was it? Oh, that was a counter trend trade. Mm, yeah, that did. Maybe shouldn't have taken a counter trend trade. Uh, Twitter. This Twitter loss was complete crap. I completely uh, resent that one. UNH. Um, actually, I'm not I'm not sure I went over this this UNH trade here. So gapping up. Let's see here. When was it? it got filled 940. So right here, pulled back. Try to get triggered in at 940, and it immediately sold off. So. Yeah, so that was a UNH trade. If I didn't get over that, lost sixty-two bucks on that. Not not a big loss, but I mean, good thing I got out. Look at this thing. It um, I believe my stop was probably here at two forty sixty-six. I mean, this thing tanked immediately to down to two thirty-seven. So, gapping up, right pattern above the nine, above VWAP. Just here's the topping tails I was talking about again. So, it worked on one, but it didn't work on the other. SQ was fine, UNH wasn't, so it's just luck of the draw with these things sometimes. But yeah, that's that's it for the recap. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have not joined us yet on their Facebook group, make sure to do that. The link will be down in the description below where I post my watch list for you guys every single day. Lastly, if you guys are curious on how I learn how to trade, I provided you guys with a discount code in the description. It comes with one-on-one -on -one mentoring, classes, and buying power. So make sure to take advantage of that. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.